Welcome in, everybody, to another episode of 410 Sports Talk. I'm James Haskell, riding solo just to get this announcement out. Of course, we're going to talk about this tonight, but the one, the only, the king, Derek Henry, is officially a Baltimore Raven after what I'm sure are multiple attempts from the Ravens via trade, obviously, that we know about in the in, in the prior year. And then who knows, maybe way back to the draft when they wanted uh, Derek Henry. But he is now here, a Baltimore Raven in the black and purple. Derek Henry will be in the bank, lining up behind Lamar Jackson. Uh, he signed a two-year deal uh, for $16 million, up to $20 million in incentives, and $9 million fully guaranteed. Now, the Ravens have to make some moves in the ca- you know with their cap, of course, to uh, stay under the cap and stay compliant, things of that nature, which I'm sure they will do. We will see those new, those subsequent uh, moves uh, here to four, but I'm sure that just like me, you guys are all excited. I can't wait to talk to Glenn about this. It is a dream scenario to have the truest form of thunder and lightning in the backfield with Lamar Jackson and King Henry and even Keaton Mitchell as he comes back. We are so excited about it and cannot wait. The, the only other things, of course, that, that that have to be addressed here with this deal are is the value, right? How is Munkin going to use Derrick Henry? How, how is this going to change our game plan? How it, frustrating will it be to have a guy like Derrick Henry on the sideline in a situation like an AFC Championship game where we only ran the ball six times? How will this help our offense bring balance to it and open up that vertical game? How will this help us? to run in scenarios where they know we're running and we're still having success. We were already the number one rushing team last year, but did we just get better? Did we just get better with Derrick Henry? I think the answer is yes. Uh, There's, of course, a ton of value in the contract you had with Gus Edwards, uh, and I'm sure the Chargers are getting value as well, but look, they weren't using him like we saw them use Gus in the past. Uh, that we saw them, you know, close out games in the third and fourth quarter with Gus Edwards, and they simply weren't doing it. Uh, and maybe Munkin will be more compelled to do it with Derrick Henry. But man, this is a NFL uh, dream scenario for the Ravens. This is a Madden type uh, setup for them. Uh, I cannot wait to see what happens. We are going live tonight at 8 p.m. So be here. Join us. We cannot wait to see you guys. We'll talk about the ins and outs of this contract. We'll talk about what it means for the rest of the team. We'll talk about potential changes and impact it will have on uh, the play calling for Munkin, uh, how it will impact Keaton Mitchell, uh, how it impacts future signings now You know, for the rest of the team as far as outside linebacker, offensive lineman, and things like that. But let's keep it locked here. We'll be here tonight. Make sure to join us. Derrick Henry's a Baltimore Raven. Let's go. We'll talk to you soon. See you.